Morning guys, okay, so first workout of 2019 is a upper body and conditioning session. Um, we're gonna do it at Sweatshed today in one of the FML classes. So that's a class that we run that's like pretty much full on, full body workout, conditioning, strength work, the lot. So I'm just gonna show you on the board what we got going on. So we have four rounds, A, B, C, D. We have the 10 minute rounds. There's gonna be minimal rest between the rounds. I'm just gonna whiz through what's involved in each round and then I'll explain it a little bit more. So we've got pull-ups or pull-downs. So we do banded pull-downs because we don't have lat pull-down machine. Um, Push-ups, band pull-aparts, dumbbell, tricep extension. Uh, that's, so that's one round. I'll explain the structure in a second. Uh, second round, kettlebell swings, box jumps, burpees. V-ups or V-sits, an abs exercise. That's the second round. I'll explain that in a second. Uh, then we have bent over row, military press, rear dumbbell fly, dumbbell curls. That's another round. And then prowler, okay? So, structure-wise, this is how it works. Let me just bob you down there. So, structure-wise, the way it's gonna work is, so round A, you have pull-ups or lat pull-downs. The rep range is one to 15, so depending on what exercise you do is gonna dictate what your reps is. Um, for some people, 15 pull-ups is doable. For some people, it might be one pull-up. If you're working on pull-downs and it's, you know, you work, depending on what weight you're using, you might be moving from eight reps up to 15 reps, it depends, okay? So, pull-ups or lat pull-down, or, so, one to 15 reps. Press-ups, again, depends what variation you're doing. One-arm press-up, ring press-ups, TRX press-ups, press-ups off your knees, press-ups off your feet. It depends. Rep range, five to 15 reps, okay? So what's gonna happen is for five minutes, you're gonna move between those two exercises. So you're gonna do your pull-ups or your pull-downs for whatever your rep range is. Move to push-ups, do a set of that between five and 15, and just keep moving between those for five minutes. Now, you want to make it hard enough, I would say, so that you're getting about three to five sets in, okay? So depending on what you're doing, aim for three to five sets. After the five minutes, you move to the next two exercises, which are the band pull-aparts. So with one of the, the elastic bands, working the upper back, you're going to go 10 to 20 reps. I'd veer to more towards the higher end of the rep range. Um, just depends, I guess, on what the, the resistance of the band that you have is. Um, and then you go in dumbbell, tricep extension. So either standing here, or obviously lying on the floor, more like a skull crusher type movement. Again, 10 to 20 reps. Again, for five minutes, so the, the other half of the 10 minute round, you're gonna move between those two exercises. This one, it's not so important that you're getting three to five sets in, although that's what I'd aim for, but it's, it's definitely not a problem if you end up with six or seven sets. I try and make sure that you get at least three sets in. Um, so that's one 10 minute round. So that's more of a strength and upper body resistance round. The second round, round B, um, was the kettlebell swings, the box jumps, the burpees, and then the V-sits. So that is gonna be a Tabata round. So it's gonna be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off of the four exercises. You perform each exercise once and move through in a circuit style, okay? So it would be swings, 20 on, 10 off, Box jumps, 20 on, 10 off. Burpees, 20 on, 10 off. V-sits, 20 on, 10 off. So that's gonna be a two minute section of the round. You perform that five times for a 10 minute round. Then you move on to the third round, which is similar in structure to the first round, except it's, it's more of a pulling type movement. Um, oh no, so it's still pulling and pressing actually. Yeah, my bad, sorry. Um, so you're gonna go bent over row. So bent over row, either dumbbells, um, barbell, I guess you could do it on a, a seated, fixed, um, seated rowing position, rowing um, cable machine at the gym. Again, eight to 15 reps I would aim for on the, on the rowing. You're then gonna go to military press, so either dumbbells, a barbell, sandbag, anything you've got access to, kettlebells, I guess. Um, eight to 15 reps. Again, aim for three to five sets of that first initial part of the, the third round. Um, after which, you're gonna try and get that into five minutes. After which you go to rear flies, so dumbbell flies. So here, with relatively light dumbbells, I'd say, go for more um, time under tension, so more strict, controlled movements, as opposed to this kind of 
almost like epileptic fit type uh, rep. Uh, after the rear flies, you're going to go to curls. So here, dumbbell curls or barbell curls, I guess. Uh, I'm just more partial to dumbbell curls. Rear fly, 10 to 15. Dumbbell curls, 10 to 15. Um, again, five minute round, try and get as many sets in. Minimum three, I'd say. It's not a problem if you start getting into six, seven or eight, you could argue that you're not making it hard enough. Um, so that's the third round. Fourth round, we've got access to prowlers. If you have access to prowlers, it's gonna be a 10 minute round. Solid pushing. Um, each two minute interval, you add a little bit more weight. So I'd suggest start empty, push for two minutes. Stick some weight on, it's up to you. Five to tens, 15 kilos, whatever you want, whatever you've got access to. Um, yeah, and every two minute marker of the 10 minute round, add a little bit more weight. Um, aim to keep the weight on and don't go all guns blazing and struggle by putting too much on too soon and needing to either really slow down or take weight off. That was, that'd be like the, the worst case scenario. Um, if you don't have access to a prowler, I guess you could do like a 10 minute rowing round of 10 minute uh, Tabata rowing, or you could do uh, five minutes rowing, five minutes slam ball maybe. Depends what you've got access to. Even if you skip that round, I guess you could repeat that round, the Tabata round, perhaps with different exercises, or if you really love those four exercises, do it again. Um, if not, skip the fourth round. You've still got three, three, round, three 10 minute rounds of solid work, so it's either gonna be a 30 or 40 minute workout, depending on whether you decide to do a fourth conditioning round or not. Uh, yeah, so 40 minutes of good solid work. If you've got any questions, drop it in the comments below. If you're unsure of any techniques, let me know. And yeah, the guys that are gonna do it in the session today, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. Uh, yeah, let us know how you get on. See you later.